Man, it is hot out here on social media Saturday, July 18th, 2020. Steve Cypress here, just walked out and probably already sweating yet another day at over just near 110 degrees. Seems to be just about every day here in Southern Arizona. But as my friends laugh at me by saying, yes, but it's a dry heat, right? So when I go back inside, I'm gonna stick my head in the oven for the rest of the day. Anyway, just came across the newswire, Disney Plus joining the Facebook ad boycott. With that's their new streaming service. Uh, Disney itself was Facebook's number one advertiser throughout the first half of 2020. They were number two in 2019, just behind only Home Depot. And so that's, uh, are we going to get Mark Zuckerberg's attention yet? Are we going to get, more importantly, the peoples, the users of Facebook, the users slash the product that we are of Facebook, we're going to get people's attention to realize uh, it was good while it lasted. But man, got to find somewhere else to go, don't you? Uh, so the big lesson, Disney Plus, now by the way, as an aside, my beautiful wife Michelle and I watched the streaming of uh, Hamilton the play Hamilton the other night. What a great play. Now, I happen to be a huge history buff, especially of American history and uh, American Revolutionary Times history. The first play I ever went to on Broadway was when I was nine years old. Uh, our fourth grade class uh, went to see the Broadway play 1776. We spent about six weeks having to study it and write about it and learn all about it and pass all the tests and whatever before we were allowed to get on the bus and go into town and watch the, uh, the great drama about the Continental Congress and sit down John and all that kind of good stuff with Jefferson and Franklin and all that kind of fun. And uh, this one had a lot of a similar cast and characters, of course, went a little later on because this was the life of Hamilton and a uh, great play, uh, really exciting, really well done, was really cool to see. Uh, but that is a Disney Plus uh, product. And, uh, of course, thanks to the uh, hypocritical leftists that don't know what the hell they're doing, uh, they eat their own, of course. Uh, even Hamilton's now uh, being coming under criticism and being called on to be pulled down off the airwaves and taken off Broadway, for if Broadway's ever able to function again and able to exist in person. Uh, because, gee, uh, there were some slave owners in that thing, and blah, 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 and like, will you shut up with your whole BS? That play is produced by, written by, directed by, starred in non-white minority, quote, people. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tremendous, glorifying accomplishment for non-white Americans. It's like one of the greatest things ever done in the entertainment world on Broadway, certainly, uh, for uh, African Americans, for uh, whatever minority uh, Latino Americans. Uh, but now, of course, the idiot leftists are like, but take it down because of something that happened hundreds of years ago. Uh, look, come on now. Let me just tell you, I'm Jewish, right? So do you think that when I see the pyramids and the Sphinx, or if I ever went to see them, that I'm, could you hear me calling to tear them down? Like, well, they want to tear down all those monuments and uh, rename everything and change the name of the football team and change this and change that, and now they want to pull down Hamilton. Do you hear me ever saying, well, you got to tear down those pyramids. They were built by my ancestors as slaves. In fact, I want reparations. Egypt should send me money. Get over it. What are you, out of your mind? I don't care if that happened 5,000 years ago or five days ago. Get over it. You're in America, the land of opportunity. Take the ball and run with it. You got the ball. Don't sit there and complain about something that happened years ago that no one alive did. Oh, yeah, but I understand. But Egypt benefited from the slave labor of the Jews. Whatever. But America benefited from the slave labor of the blacks and the African. Get over it. Anyway, seems like I have digressed off the topic, which is the breaking. Facebook continues to slide towards oblivion. Uh, Zuckerberg, as usual, is a bumbling, fumbling fool of a CEO. 
uh, I think uh, Disney and all the rest of them in this boycott, the big corporations are all saying like, we met with Zuck and he just gave us the same old tired talking points, taking us for granted. Facebook takes us for granted as the users. We've known that for a long time. We have to, you know, when we log in, we have to scroll through those 42,000 pages of legal mumbo jumbo and then click I agree at the bottom and I accept it, not knowing anything, of course, what it says other than what we've heard and what we found out that what it says is we own Facebook. We own, they own this video. They own all my photos. They own all my posts. They own all everything. They own all of my information. They own stuff about me I don't even know. And they sell all that information to the highest bidder, to firms for political purposes, to companies to sell stuff or whatever. Like, they just do whatever they want with us. Well, you know, follow the money. Hit them where it hurts in the pocketbook. And this big boycott doesn't seem to be ending soon. In fact, it just caught fire with their largest advertising, Disney. Uh, from the news, it seems to say they didn't come out right and say they've pulled all their advertising. They said something like a significant portion. They pulled all of the Disney Plus, for instance, but supposedly there's still some Disney on there. But clearly, I'm sure, will no longer be their number one advertiser. So Facebook, wake up! And a lesson for all other business owners is ad rates, I'm sure, are sure to drop. Uh, with Facebook now needing more advertising and probably giving out better deals for it. But is that where you want your message to be on this troubled platform where I'm recording this video live? You might be watching it on one of the other platforms. Facebook also owns Instagram, uh, by the way. So uh, YouTube. So, you know, some of these platforms, it's all one big ancestral pile of crap. Uh, and yet, it's, quote, free to use, which, as I said uh, a couple weeks ago here on Social Media Saturday, I believe is a mistake. I believe Facebook should be charging money to use the platform and therefore not be selling anyone's information, not gathering anyone's private information, no advertising, a paid platform. You want to use it, you use it. No ads, just like HBO, cable TV. That was the whole idea. Hey, we can watch TV with no commercials. We just have to pay for it then they don't need the commercials. If they have people pay for Facebook, then, there's, then they can do it ad-free, right? That's one uh, suggestion, one alternative, one solution. I'm sure there are others, but for Facebook, they're just taking everyone for granted and being the big 800 million pound gorilla in the room and treating everybody like crap. I know that firsthand. I spent over three years working for a Yellow Pages publisher consulting to small business owners about their advertising, and that was a monopoly back in the day before I came there. They were the only Yellow Pages, and they treated all their advertisers like crap. And they wondered why, by the time I came along, there were other competitive books in the area, and advertisers were dropping out of this book or not paying their bills or, you know, cutting their advertising. And, and they hated me, having never met me, just because I was a Yellow Page rep. And uh, they voted with their pocketbooks, and the Yellow Page company that I worked for just after I left, they went through their first of what ended up being four bankruptcies. So there's the biggest lesson of all. Treat your customers, clients, patients, members like total crap. Take them for granted. Might be good in the short term for a short time while you're a monopoly, while you think you're a big shot, while you think they have no choice. My friend, it's not going to last. And I'm all about, as you know, anyone that watches my videos or reads my blog or knows me and all knows, I'm always about the long term. I'm always going to advise business owners on what wins in the long term. Short term, Zuck has had a great ride, made a ton of money. Long term, that kind of attitude and approach uh, and, and actions uh, cannot last. So be careful how you treat your customers, clients, patients, members. Don't be an idiot like Facebook. You see what's happening, and I don't think this Facebook ad boycott is a short-term thing like the previous ones have been. As I said last time, I mentioned it a couple weeks ago here on Social Media Saturday, I think two weeks ago today. Uh, I think uh, this could be the beginning of what uh, I and others, I'm sure, have been talking about for years, even when it seems like, but Facebook could be around forever, but they're a giant, but whatever. Yeah, the demise is coming, and uh, might now be coming sooner than we thought. Google, Apple, Amazon, every other company. Pay attention. Nothing lasts forever. That'll do it. Speaking of not lasting forever, that's the end of this video. I'll catch you tomorrow.